Well, when I told my son the other day that I was coming up to almost 10,000 kilometers on my La Mer diode, he said, Dad, you should uh, maybe produce a video and uh, tell the world what you think of it. So, I'm not going to do it as a stand-up. I'm going to do it on the trail, but the bike is absolutely brilliant. I am coming up to 10,000 kilometers, and the only two things that I've ever done to the bike is I've replaced the chain and I've replaced the tires. If I broke anything, it was my fault and uh, my cost. So here goes, I'll try to do this from the trail and uh, we'll see how it works out. As mentioned in my stand-up, I'm gonna try to do this uh, review from the trail, not riding too crazy fast, so hopefully the uh, voiceover will be good. Um, I'm riding the Brant track, and as I mentioned, this bike is now four years old. I'm coming up to 10,000 kilometers. Uh, when I purchased it for just over $10,000, it seemed like an awful lot of money for a bike, and uh, lots would think I was pretty crazy. But my money, my bike, and it truly is one of the best investments I've ever made. It ranks in my top 10 for sure. Uh, the bike cost relates a lot to not only the fact that it's full carbon, carbon fiber frame, carbon fiber rims, carbon fiber handle bar, but it's componentry. It has a high-end Fox factory 34 front shock. It has the Fox DPX2 rear shock. Uh, both of those are factory. Both of those are expensive items, but at the 10,000 kilometer mark, I haven't had to touch the shocks. They have not been rebuilt. In fact, the only two things that I've had to replace on the bike were a chain, and I purchased a Shimano uh, E-Mountain bike chain. Uh, since I've got the Shimano motor, uh, it takes a little bit more strain and stress, I suppose. And I had to buy a new set of tires uh, at the 5,000 kilometer mark. So when you look at a bike that cost $10,000, four years later I haven't spent any money on it it has not ever been professionally serviced um, I've done all my own service mostly lube tightening chains making sure that the drivetrain is clean and uh, well maintained but I haven't taken it into a shop and that speaks volumes to the quality of the build uh, and for some that say well maybe a road you know like a little old lady yeah. trust me I'll show you some photos. I don't ride like a little old lady. I uh, push this bike to its limits um, and my skill set, and sometimes my skill set exceeds the ability of the bike. And I have video to prove that I've had my fair share of over the bar crashes, um, which is a testament to at least my trying. Uh, but as my skill sets have improved, I've grown to appreciate more and more the quality of the build and uh, the fact that JP just provides exceptional customer service. Any issues that I've ever had or questions I've had, uh, he's been right there or his staff have been right there to address them and help me out. Uh, anyways, when you get what you pay for, and I would highly recommend, if you're in the market for an e-mountain bike, uh, you should be phoning JP. Uh, yeah, there's good bikes on the market. Uh, help you, God help you, if uh, you run into a component problem, getting that component from the factory in Germany or Asia. Uh, anyways, uh, you can always drive to Minnesota, Minneapolis, and uh, visit JP in person and pick up your component there. <laughs> So I'm doing this testimonial, uh, now that the bike that I purchased from Lamar Cycles, uh, a diode with a Shimano EP8000 motor, is coming up to the 10,000 kilometer mark. Uh, I really think that some of my friends and others might want to know, did I get good value out of my purchase? I mean, I spent over $10,000 for the bike, which seems a little bit crazy, um, but, a good chunk of that is in the componentry and the fact that the bike has state-of-the-art geometry, is full carbon, 
Uh, the frame's carbon, the rims are carbon, and they both come with a lifetime warranty. The handlebar's carbon, and back four years ago, it had some of the best componentry you could get and put on a bike. Uh, the fact that it's an e-bike, certainly gonna cost you a little bit more, uh, but the key is, did it perform? Did I get my $10,000 worth out of the bike coming up to 10,000 kilometers? The answer is absolutely yes. Without a doubt, it's probably one of the best investments I've ever made. Uh, it's kept me in shape. I absolutely love mountain biking. The bike has been brilliant. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Um, I've had a couple of questions, which JP or staff uh, have answered uh, over the phone. And uh, I like the bike so much, crazy as it is, I invested in a new diode called the V4 uh, at around $14,000. But it has an upgraded Fox 38 shock. It has a brand new rear shock built specifically for a heavier e-bike. And it is it got an integrated battery in the mainframe, a 725 watt battery, which all adds to the cost. But I wouldn't have bought it had this bike not been so brilliant and JP had not been such a great, uh, you know, and friendly and uh, owner and providing just absolutely over the top customer service. JP, uh, the reason I own two diodes is all because of the quality of your build and your reputation in the industry. Certainly appreciate it. I love the bike. I love you guys down at Lemaire. You, Liam, Shane, uh, all speak the, the uh, truth, walk the line, and deliver what you promise. Thanks for that.